Hey guys, Jacob at CrossFit Monterey here with my good buddy Mike Hall, who you may know. Uh, we're at Papa Cello's in Monterey, California. We're about to, we're about to feast on some, some epic burritos. Uh, had some good hard training yesterday. We did some, uh, some sandbag sprint intervals, and I did some, uh, some heavy pressing, some dips, and some uh, weighted pull-ups. Uh, Mike, what did you, you get up to yesterday? I uh, did some deadlifts with a deficit, which means I stood on two plates and pulled uh, like 45 pounds a few times. Uh, like five. Um, so I'm just trying to retool my deadlift in certain ways, trying to uh, speed off the ground. But that aside, did that, did a spring with him in the morning, and at night, I think my conditioning was just in kettlebell swings and bar dips. Uh, it's not 60 of each actually, so it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good training session. Today is my rest day. Yeah, today's, today's my rest day too. I'm, I'm feeling pretty beat. I got a squat and power clean tomorrow. And I think you got a squat tomorrow as well, right? I got a squat, and then for the weekend I'm gonna go snowboarding from basically Friday through Monday. Yeah, so, so we need some serious replenishment. So I just ordered some some food. I'm I'm buying Mike lunch because at the at the age of 28 he's a he's a broke ass college student again. So somebody's got to feed him, otherwise he'll shrink back to his normal. 100 175 pound Chinese self. So uh, we're gonna get our food in a minute. 170. My bad. That's just absolutely terrifying. Uh, so in a minute, we'll be back with our uh, with our orders. All right. Well, uh, we're back with lunch. Um, you know, before we begin, I need to kind of give a disclaimer about Mexican food up in Northern California versus Southern California. So I'm a Southern California child. And in my opinion, Mexican food in Southern California is arguably the best, especially where I come from. Um, but, you know, I have to say that since being here, um, you know, since moving up here for grad school, you know, there are some really respectable Mexican food places, as long as you're explicit with what you want. You know, maybe we'll make another video of another Mexican food place just down the road. But for the time being, let's look at what we ordered here. So, I have a quesadilla that's filled with adobado, which is otherwise, you know, somewhat spicy marinated pork here. Meat and cheese and a tortilla. It's beautiful. After a hard day of training, I think that's a you know that's a good supplement to basically to put some weight on. Also, a party side of burrito. I'm gonna wrap it here. Um, you know, just pull it apart a little bit. You know, there's there's really some basic ingredients here. That's meat, salsa, and guacamole. That's really all you need. Now, if we can it over to Jacob's burrito. He has a jungle burrito right here. Alright, I've got a, if he puts his alarm out, you'll see that it's in fact longer than his arm. Alright, so it's a large, it's a large burrito, so he's gonna eat all of it. Yeah. And, you know, if that's not semi as big, I really don't know what is. Now, I've, I've got here a jumbo breakfast burrito. It's in a breakfasty mood, so we've got, uh, just eggs, potatoes, cheese, and sausage. And, uh, of course, we have some whole milk to wash it down. So, guys, uh, cheers again, Sammy. Okay, we're about uh, halfway through lunch, as you can see. My burrito is about halfway gone. It's uh, it's pretty tasty. Mike's uh, mostly polished off his burrito. He's uh, he started uh, started in on his quesadilla over there. How are you feeling, Mike? Oh, I still got halfway to go. I'm feeling great. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, starting to feel like I'm uh, enjoying a good meal, but still have room to go. I've polished off a cup of milk, um, so that's that's always good. You know, you gotta have gotta have your milk yeah, filling yeah. a 70s bagel halfway there. Yeah, you know, towards the end of this, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a slightly challenging meal. You just gotta ask yourself at times like that, what would lift me? What would lift me? And uh, I think the answer is lift me would uh, go to town with some burrito quesadilla and more milk. So we're gonna we're gonna do that and uh, we'll be back. All right. Well, um, Wednesday. Wednesday, it's about 12.53. 12.53, we just finished lunch. I'm trying to go a little carb so I didn't eat all the tortillas. So watch this the trigger. Yeah. No, I'm trying to stay lean. Anyway, as you can see uh, from Jacob's, uh, well, there's nothing there, which indicates that well, he ate it all, and he's not staying low carb. No, no, I, you know, I felt like today was kind of day. Did some real heavy work yesterday. I got a squat and power thing tomorrow. I just need to, uh, you know, he needs to recover. You know? <laughs> We're finishing up our milk. We're gonna polish that off. Yeah, so, pretty good. I think uh, today was a really good lunch. Thanks.
thanks again for lunch. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Um, again, if you guys ever make it up to Monterey, you know, whether you're military or whether you're a civilian passing through here, stop by CrossFit Monterey. We'll take care of you. We'll lift some stuff. We'll eat some stuff. It'll be a good time. Keep the 70s big.